hey what's up guys welcome to a new video in today's video i want to discuss this new trend that is sticking its ugly head out in this industry this trend involves clients paying constantly being delayed and at the end of the day not getting anything that they paid for today we will look at such a case concerning kanye us 30 and i'm sure you guys don't want to miss this out so stick up until the end of the video to see everything please don't forget to smash the like button for the youtube algorithm leave your comments in the comment section please do share this around and if you're new here I welcome you to my channel please do smash that subscribe button now you guys most definitely know Kanye US 30 is no stranger to this channel we have made a couple of videos about him before uh, the most recent one being a TikTok but um, the point here is that the alarm bells has been rung on this gent for quite some time now and i do not understand how you guys are still falling for the very same tactics over and over and over again now like i said in this new trend it's just something that i've been noticing um within this past couple of videos including this one that i've made and that is that um these mentors would now make clients pay and then they would constantly delay the clients not bringing forth their services that the clients have paid for thus rendering that service null and void and the client having received nothing now wants their money back and i mean when you look at the fact that these are millionaires almost billionaires they can afford to pay a 3k or 2.5k back right <laughs> let's take a look at the evidence so that you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about so in this first screenshot you can see this is an instagram chat between kanya and this victim and this victim uh, asks him sure bro can i have your number to send proof of payment for the mentorship so at this point this bra already paid right kanya sends him a number he sends the reference in which the payment will come through and kanya said yes bro we can start later at four o'clock now obviously that means not only he's scheduling a class for four o'clock but that is him also kind of acknowledging listen your money just went off in my bank account i just received your money we're starting at four o'clock so um the client then says thanks brother i'll whatsapp you and then on the 17th he says please check your whatsapp bro um going along the is the banking details and then obviously as you guys can see one thing that we use to verify if it's the person that we're talking about or not is banking details and as you guys can see this is a banking account of Kanya Dodlongwana so as you guys can see can I pay 3k bro tell me zoom into ship that's all I have Kanya says yes and I need you guys to be very careful there because most of these guys when they or making their prices right and you hit below that and they take that money you guys must really be careful because that kind of lets me know that that price point was just a ballpark and if you come with a cash offer close to that they will take it so moving right along this is now on whatsapp going back to the 13th of february 2023 which is like a few days ago uh this guy says sure bro this is curing your client 4 p.m zoom session and then kanye says let's do seven um 5 30 comes back 4 30 right i don't know what that means but the client seems to have understood that and he says no problem just let me know uh voice note gets sent and the client responds by saying away bro i'm free until 10 p.m then it's load shedding so obviously number one a class has been delayed because they were supposed to start due to our instagram chats they were supposed to start at four came on whatsapp they were supposed to start at 5 30 which they didn't and now he's talking about i'm free until 10 p.m so that means that kanya has been delaying this thing for this very first day already and that is highly unprofessional so on the 14th this guy says sure bro um, when can we schedule the first zoom session with a voice note and then kanya says how's it bro let's do it tomorrow at 11 o'clock right to which this client then says away fam on the 15th of february um just before 11 right he asks away fam we on for 11 and then after one oh it's almost two o'clock already kanya responds by saying just woke up bro highly unprofessional um the client then says away away fam i'm free anytime from 4 p.m kanya says yeah load shedding now just woke up <sighs> yo you can't be fat and lazy, my bro. Like, pick your struggle, Aya. 
Canala. Going on the client says, sure bro, give a time, let's work according that. Kanya says 9 o'clock. He says, away. That's at 4 o'clock already, no? So which means 9 o'clock is 5 hours in advance, right? 5 to 9, the client says, ready when you are champ. No response. How disingenuous is that? Hmm? You guys are constantly posting on Instagram, oh, we're helping the people, we're helping the... But yeah, you... <sighs> Rather say you are helping yourself to money so that you can buy more tight clothes so that it seems like that brand is choking the loving shit out of you. Same way you are choking the loving shit out of your clients, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Moving along the 16th, the client then says, away fam, what time, bro? Away fam? Voice note, no response. And let me just give you the time intervals. The first message was sent half past six in the morning. The second message after that was sent around about half past ten that very same morning. And then the third voice note, the 10 second voice note, was sent around 20 past one. Can you had more than enough time to respond? On Friday, client says, away fam, what's up? Away bro. And then at this point, a man's want his money. Hello, please find my app's account details below. He gives his account number, branch code, account name. And Kanye then says, how's it, bro? I said nine o'clock we start. Now, at this point, I'm also not going to trust your nine o'clock. At this point, I don't want anything further to do with you. I just want my money. So I completely understand why this client is standing up the way the client is standing up. So the client then responds by saying, please just refund me, brother. Big please, fam. Uh, please, my guy, all I'm asking you. And you know, when it comes to these big people, you have to ask a big please. He says company policy. I bet you guys, if you had to go look up the company that he's talking about, right? It isn't even registered. It literally isn't even a registered, and I'm not. I'm not meaning a registered company with the FSCA, which it should be because it's it's offering financial services, but it isn't even registered like a normal tax shop. So this company policy that is trying to wave in your face is nonsensical, right? Client then says, I paid for services. I never received, bro. I want to cancel. Your service is unprofessional and I'm very disappointed. I want my money back, please. I never did you harm. You can just refund my cash, please. Now, when you take a look at everything that that client said there, right, which is all facts, by the way, the fact that this client had to end off this message by saying, I never did you harm you can just refund me that is enough grounds for kanya to send this guy's money back and especially because every time kanya gave this person a time this person made themselves available at that time so kanya can't ever say that oh I, I scheduled classes and this client didn't pitch up. Kanya is the only one that didn't pitch up. And this is after he already added another X onto his clothing labels from eating that money. No? I'm, I'm really going to need you guys to wake up from your slumber. So obviously, after this guy becoming adamant and wanting his money back, this happened. These guys are so used to blocking you when you are coming with the truth because they do not want their comment sections to know about it. And the moment their comment section knows about it, the gullible people in the comment section won't fall for this stuff that they are posting anymore. And when you look at what he has been posting lately, I think it's uh, that, that new house and that car, which I'm going to tell you guys, it's rented. Don't go off any word that these guys have said remember previously Kanye said he bought the house we exposed that it wasn't his house he had Audis and stuff that he bought apparently cash we exposed that it is rented cars so I'm gonna need you guys in the future to steer clear of this gent because clearly his services isn't up to par and if he was that good of a trader his name would have flooded my socials a long time ago in the sense of clients coming to give this man's due and that just isn't happening so at the end of the day guys Kanye US 30 huge huge scammer and before I leave let me just make this last note um, the companies that sponsor these guys normally aren't 
responsible for how these guys act and how these guys carry themselves in public so please do not go and to the companies that sponsor them and because at the end of the day the companies that employ these people and you guys know this after my Exynos deal Exynos took on Ref Wayne right and I got the easy fit I cut up Exynos stuff on on a live um, which was highly unprofessional of me I have to say that um, because at the end of the day these companies are just looking for lead generators right and that is what they are so if you are seeing a company that is aligning themselves with a lead generator that is disingenuous i'm very certain that that company itself is disingenuous as well so therefore they become a package deal and therefore you avoid that whole package entirely because evidently if they aren't getting money for rebates or for leads from these um, brokers that is paying them then there is no means for them to perpetuate their scams i'm gonna need you guys to be clear on this one thing kanya us 30 is most definitely not to be trusted and that is the end of it i thank you so much for joining me up until this point i sincerely appreciate it thank you so much for the support without it i can't do anything thank you so much for the likes please do find that like button smash it for me leave your comments in the comment section please do share this around and if you're new here i welcome you to my channel i can't wait for march month to kick off because i most definitely believe these giveaways that i'm gonna have on my channel that is gonna be beneficial to everyone I most definitely believe that those ones that's going to get it, that will definitely improve their trading career. So keep your hands tight for March. I will post the um, rules and how you can enter. And then um, if you've won, all you have to do is sit back and wait for your laptop. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.